Hey gang, today we are back at Fort Wilderness and that is because Trails End has reopened. And before this vlog can have an end, it has to have a beginning. So come along. Come along. It's based off our name. As you can see behind me here, we have arrived at the settlement here at Disney's Fort Wilderness. I'm always happy to be back home. I definitely consider this one of my home resorts here at Walt Disney World. But today is extra exciting because the grand reopening weekend of not only Trails End the restaurant, but Crockett's Tavern. Now it is coming back different than we've ever seen it before. It used to be an all you care to enjoy dining experience. And now it's kind of a la carte with some new menus and I'm ready to a la enjoy everything. <laughs> And the other really awesome thing about coming to the settlement, not just for eating, is this is where you can get on your carriage rides. They even have horse drawn hay rides for the whole family. Look at them go. Oh wow, already, already this is an amazing evening. I'm honestly not even sure if the sign is different. It does look a little bit more colorful than I remember, but definitely the outside is looking very similar. The only thing new that I see is that it does seem like they have become a little bit more wheelchair accessible right here. There's a brand new ramp that they're putting up to get right into Trails End there. So nothing really new on the outside, but I can't wait to hop in, look at all the new grub and all the new decor. I'm just so happy it's finally back open because while this was closed, the only real restaurant dining experience you could have is Hoopty Doo Review. And that's not something that you're just gonna do regularly multiple times a year. Where Trails End, it really was a place I came multiple times a year. So I'm really excited to have dinner here this evening. I'm so pumped and of course, you know we had to do it with friends. I promise you we did not plan this, but we have one, two, and three little pumpkins. <laughs> That's because we're excited about Halloween, which usually starts in like two days. And for, when you're at Fort Wilderness, it just gives you yeah. Halloween vibes. I, I guess yeah. we were all feeling the Halloween vibes. Yeah, yeah. we were. Yeah. And in case you didn't know, Maria is actually the one who made our awesome I Mickey did. pumpkin shirts. And I actually designed, even the words, I was like, let's make it a not so scary corn maze. I let's love make it. Let's a uh, poison apple, not a candy apple, you know. I love it. So definitely check out Disney. shoplbv.com, link in the description description because I'm telling you these sell out fast. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Some of the cast members okay. have given Maria a cowgirl hat. Look at that. She's official now. All right. So Jimmy <laughs> just gave me his cowboy. Wait, you know what? I feel like I don't look as cool as you do in it. And before you even hop inside here, they actually do have the menu items here that you can check out. This is all their breakfast platters, little cowpoke meal. Gotta love that. Of course, Mickey shaped waffles, the biscuits and gravy as a side, yum. And then specialty coffees. I've actually had this strawberry shortcake latte before and it was amazing. But this is what we're here for, the classic fare. They have some cheeseburgers, veggie burgers, pulled pork sandwiches, chicken breasts, nuggets, barbecue ribs, fried chicken, and brand new pizzas. Time to go in guys. Let's go check this new spa out. Let alone being able to mobile order the food now, you can actually come and walk up and get it. You can get pizza by the slice even now. Look at that. That's a fresh, fresh hot pies coming out of the big oven there, but you can get a whole pizza or just get a slice. Oh my goodness. And even hand scooped ice cream to go. All different type of flavors there. That looks delicious. And then a bunch of just like little snacks. Look at all the snacks, Kristen. So you gotta look at the cookies. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, there's there's Rice Krispies and potato chips. Look, even like giant like boxes of cookies. Some giant bags of chips. All right, where are these cookies? Candies, Luna bars. Oh, this is what Kristen is talking about. All the pastries. Even two slices of white bread for 99 cents. I don't know why you would need that, but okay. But I do know why I need a s'mores cookie or a Fort Fruity cookie that's definitely Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, we're gonna be getting 
a lot of this stuff. And it's a little bit slim pickings over here, but they have some pecan smoked brisket. You get a whole pound for $20 and then some green beans, mac and cheese, cowboy beans, chili, mashed potatoes, and a whole pecan smoked chicken to go. They even have some grab and go drinks as well as some adult beverages. They even have some sandwiches that are brisket, chicken, a veggie sandwich right in there, all wrapped up and ready to go. And right before you check out with your food, do not forget to grab a cornbread loaf to go. $6.49 for a whole loaf. Look at that thing. We're going to have to pick up one of these views. And right past the grab and go area, once you find this little frying pan Mickey, that's where you're going to pick up your mobile orders if you do put them in. And although it was grab and go, we ended up mobile ordering because a lot of things they don't have grab and go just sitting out like cheeseburgers, fried chicken and such. So some of the things they do, some of the things they don't. So go ahead and mobile order, especially in advance. So far, it has been a little bit confusing figuring out what's on mobile order, what's grab and go, because some things that were grab and go, they weren't on mobile order. So we had to do a separate checkout. So I definitely think they're still figuring out some kinks. It's so different in here than it was the last time I was at Trails End. Like I told you before, it was about a $50 a piece, all you care to enjoy meal. And I absolutely love the food, but I do like that this is a cheaper option, more affordable. And if you're someone like me who really can't eat a lot of food, like at a buffet, this is so much nicer to be able to just grab a sandwich, grab a slice of pizza. So I totally do get it. I just am hoping the food is as impressive as it was here before. As for indoor visuals, I definitely noticed some difference, especially over here at Crockett's Tavern. Look at this brand new little wagon wheel little area. They used to have like a giant map. It had Davy Crockett on it. So it gives it a little bit more of a modern twist. The one thing I do miss is the buffalo. There used to be like a giant buffalo on that wall and now I just see some camping and fishing gear but still really looking nice in here especially with the amazing view of Seven Seas Lagoon. Oh my goodness do we have enough food? We have one bag, two bag, three bag, four and Kristen's still waiting for her mobile order over there. Ready to grub down? Yeah. down on this chicken and mac and cheese. I do wish the cornbread was a little bit bigger. They kind of just gave me an end of a cornbread, but luckily we got two of eloped. the giant. <laughs> a loaf. We eloped with two of the giant loaves here. You know you gotta grab a chicken by the leg. Look like a good pole, but. You guys would not believe this, but it tastes very very chickeny. Chickeny. <laughs> Is that it? It's actually no. really, really good. I was a little worried about how it looked, but it is crispy, even though it was sitting here for a little bit while we took some photos, but it's crispy, it's tender. It's actually the same chicken that I remember right next door at Hoopy Doo, so pretty good. Travis, I feel like this Coca-Cola matches your Sorcerer Mickey shirt, a little phantasmic, because look, they are actually Disney 100 Cokes. I've not got to see one of these yet. That's pretty dang cool. I, I, I choose. <laughs> Kristen, the she, cut, she cut all the cookies. So this is a s'mores. Wait, are we doing oh, yeah, s'mores or fruity first? Well, well, fruity, it's a fruity pebbles. Oh yeah, fruity let's all do pebbles. fruity Let's first. Pretend cheers. 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 I love fruity pebbles. I do like it okay. I do taste the fruitiness, but uh, it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Now let's try the s'mores. I'm hoping this is definitely a bit s'more than what the Fruity Pebble one was. It's good, but it's kind of just a chocolate chip cookie. 
I hear Kristen kind of saying it needs more marshmallow and I agree with her, but it is a good chocolate chip fudge cookie. Just maybe a little more marshmallow to get that, that s'mores vibe, but this is definitely good. I like this one better than the Fruity Pebbles. Third cookie to try. There's a lot of cookies here. I didn't know this was such a cookie club, but apparently this is the toffee cookie. Oh, yeah. It's good. That's fire. That was okay. The one All right, this one is better than the chocolate chip one, AKA the s'mores one. This one's good. Cookies galore, you guys. They were pretty good, but the desserts here don't end. Look at this banana pudding and this blueberry lemon trifle. I'm gonna try them both now. I love banana. I know the girl, other girls didn't like this as much, but I just love anything banana, even fake banana flavor. Like banana runts are like my favorite runts. I'm gonna make mm. banana pudding. I know, I know it's kind of that generic, like not homemade flavor, but I really like this banana pudding. And then let's try the trifle. I'm not gonna try to try the trifle. I'm going to actually try it. Mm. Now that is more complex than what the banana pudding is, but I still personally like the banana pudding. It just, it brings me back to childhood, to like lunch at school when you had it like plopped on your plate and topped with a little vanilla wafer. I love that. Kristen is trying the hot cocoa cookie. <laughs> she's, she's trying to tell what it tastes like. Is it also just a chocolate chip like cookie? Chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I guess it's not a bad thing. Chocolate chip cookies are good too. And when at Fort Wilderness, on some level, you must get strawberry shortcake. It is a staple here, whether you're at Hoopty Doo or Trails End. So let's see what this to go strawberry shortcake tastes like. I think I will take it to go. Thanks guys, bye. <laughs> no, it's really good. I thought it was gonna be too soggy because truth be told, we were sitting here for a while before we it. went into the desserts. But look at this, ooey, gooey, strawberry deliciousness. And we're actually gonna hop downstairs really quick to Crockett's Tavern and grab a few of their brand new drinks. Let's check out this little seasonal old fashioned, brand new, you're trying a brand new drink here now. Do you Most know what's good. in it? I think you said it was Angel's Envy bourbon, orange bitters, uh -huh. and a little agave or something like that. It seems, I guess they're doing the agave instead of simple syrup. I yeah, guess. I guess so. Um, I guess they call it a clementine old fashioned. I love that's it. What I heard him describe to the person. That is amazing. So how does it taste? How does it taste? It's good. I mean, it was funny. It's definitely got the. I don't know. You can definitely taste the the orange in it though. That's, oh, that was the other thing. It's made with orange bitters too. I don't yeah. Do you know what I love about it? The little bottom of the glass. You want to try it? Like, look at it. It has like oh, yeah. little little bumps little dots on it <laughs> and of course i had to get the brand new beloved moonshine flight look at this thing and like i was telling you the decor at crockett's has definitely changed a little bit they even have these tables you can stand at and order from the bar and then this little booth area look how fancy the chairs are they have a little cow hide skin on the back. We have some nice new tile here on the ground. So there is definitely a lot of upgrades I'm seeing here at Crockett's. We're gonna try the Moonshine Flight. I'm gonna go with the Golly Womper because it's really <laughs> weird, but no, we did find out, Travis, it's peach. It's, it's regular old white lightning moonshine, peach, peach. snobs, cranberry juice, Ooh. and uh, pineapple juice. Yes, that sounds good. Maria's gonna go for the blackberry lemonade, and Kristen's got the spiced apple. I already tried it, and the spiced apple is my favorite, but I looked out here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. I also say that tastes like Christmas. Oh, it's very good. I think all moonshine that tastes is, like Christmas. Yeah. That's very good. It does taste like Christmas. It's good. And it's you know, cold. This would be so cozy coming to Fort Wilderness in your cabin, getting one of these to go and then sitting in the cabin drinking. All right, let's this, rent one. This apple. <laughs> sold. Sold. You know, they got rid of the rocking chairs outside. Oh. So we can't even like take these and go rock oh, here. Well, I, let's just rock. Yeah, we're just let's rock. Just pretend. I'd love to sit on a rocking chair. If you drink enough of these, you'll be doing yeah. that. Yes, you know exactly. <laughs> like, oh. 
We actually decided to get one of the Crockett's Tavern snacks. This is their crispy cauliflower served with garlic aioli for $9. What a fun experience, experiencing Trails End again for the first time. I will say I do have really fond memories of the All You Care to Enjoy Trails End but I do think this is just gonna get better and better. This was opening weekend, so I think there were some misses, but there were definitely some hits. And then the new vibe at Crockett's Tavern, I can't wait to just come have a little bar crawl and hang out here more at our Fort Wilderness trips. But after you dine on the trail, the best part is coming outside here to see this amazing view. Well, Trails End, really glad to have you back here at Fort Wilderness. It was an amazing night with friends. Make sure you go in the description and check out my crew's POVs of their night, as well as the link to get this amazing Mickey pumpkin shirt with the holidays just around the corner. And leave a comment below. Have you guys ever been to Trails End? What was your favorite thing from the past or present? But for now, peace, love, and positivity, and all the good things. Love you guys. Bye.